On today's show, Honda gives the new Ridgeline a much more conventional look. Renault-Nissan plans to fight car sharing with connectivity and a look at FCA's plans for the Dodge Grand Caravan. All that and more coming right up on Autoline Daily. This is Autoline Daily for January 13th of 2016. Kia took the wraps off a full-size SUV concept called the Telluride. The three-row, seven-passenger model is built on the same architecture as the Sorento, but it's much larger. It's equipped with a number of advanced features, including sensors in the seats that capture health info, which can be displayed on screens in the door panels. It's also the first Kia model to feature 3D printed components that are located on the dashboard, door panel, and steering wheel. But don't get too excited about the SUV. The company says it doesn't have any plans to produce the Telluride. Honda revealed the all-new Ridgeline. As you can see, it's much more conventional looking compared to the previous model. It's powered by a 3.5 liter V6 with direct injection that's mated to a six-speed automatic transmission. And for the first time, the Ridgeline will be available in both front and all-wheel drive. The bed is larger than before and features the company's in-bed truck feature that provides more storage space underneath the bed. The new Ridgeline will be launched in the first half of this year. And to learn more about the vehicles revealed at the Detroit Auto Show, check out our coverage on our website, autoline.tv, or on our YouTube channel. And still to come, a look at Renault-Nissan's plan to fight car sharing. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion, and by Dow Automotive Systems, breakthrough technologies for lightweight vehicles. Car sharing could potentially have a big impact on car sales. If more people are sharing cars, fewer people will be buying one. That's why a number of automakers are experimenting with ride sharing, but not all car makers are embracing the trend. Bloomberg reports that Renault-Nissan CEO Carlos Ghosn plans to fight back against car sharing with connected vehicles that owners can personalize. He says, and I quote, We're going to make the cars much more sexy, much more attractive, and we'll see how people react. Ghosn believes ride-sharing services will continue to grow, but they won't have a big impact on car sales. And for those of you with young children, Garmin has developed a new device to make it easier to check in on them while driving. Its new navigation device also doubles as a baby monitor. So not only do you get route guidance, you can also check in on the kids in the back without having to take your eyes off the road. It comes with a camera that mounts to the back of a headrest, which connects wirelessly to the nav unit. The camera also comes with night vision, so you can use it any time during the day. The Garmin BabyCam bundle retails for $350 and will be available sometime this month. Coming up next, will the caravan follow the town and country to the chopping block? For the people at Dow, racing is a sport and a science. We enjoy one and learn from the other. But like most competitive people, we like winning at both. This is the human element at work, Dow. After the introduction of the new Chrysler Pacifica minivan, which spelt the end for the town and country, many wondered if the Dodge Grand Caravan would share the same fate. But Tim Kaniscus, the head of passenger cars in North America, tells Autoline that the caravan will live on, for now at least. Currently, the caravan and town and country do not overlap at all, but the new Grand Caravan and Pacifica will both have a full lineup, so they will overlap one another. This will allow the company to see what consumer demand will be for both vehicles, and that demand will determine if the Grand Caravan stays or goes. And speaking of the Pacifica, it received the Eyes on Design Award for Best Production Truck. That's the award handed out by designers from across the auto industry at the Detroit Auto Show. The Lexus LC500 won for Best Production Car, while the Buick Avista took home top honors for Concept Car, and the Audi H-Tron Quattro for best concept truck. And if you want to learn more about what's happening on the supplier side of the business, 
Tune in to our AutoLine Supplier Symposium today and tomorrow. John is interviewing executives from a number of suppliers on the floor of the Detroit Auto Show about the issues impacting them. That's today and tomorrow, starting at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time on our website, AutoLine.tv. That wraps up today's show. Thanks for watching and making AutoLine Daily a part of your day.